Splish! Bye bye! Bye-bye! Hooray! Hey everybody! Welcome back to VGC Regulation C, where today, um, well, basically the question that I wanted to, to answer for myself when I decided to make this video was, how many times can I buff one attack? How many boosts can I put onto one attack um, to basically get the strongest attack possible, uh, on a single turn without, like, doing any setup or anything like that. And it's a lot. Um, so as you can see in the previous video, um, we're running a Chiyu team. And Chiyu is our main attacker. And we're going, our goal is to turn one, click, uh, Beads of Ruin, Specs, In the Sun, Power Spot, Helping Hand, Heat Wave, and just start taking KOs. Is it silly? Extremely. Is it good? I, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty hard for your opponent to know what you're going to do in a best of one scenario when you're doing something as ridiculous as this. So, it worked more often than it didn't, and even when it, did, when, when it didn't work, it was usually because I double missed Heat Wave or something, which is, you know pretty 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 good i think <laughs> anyway let's talk about the team really quick here um first up we have chiyu running of course we're running choice specs i'm running max hp max special attack because i want chiyu to not move first what we want is our opponent to attack before us and hit our torkoal and trigger its eject button so that it switches out into stone journer so that we can get all the boosts because that is the whole point of the team is to get all the boosts. Um, so yeah, so basically turn one, almost always we lead Chiyu and Torkoal. We also have the option of leading Torkoal plus this Flutter main down here to do almost the same thing. Chiyu plus Torkoal. Our opponent hits us. Torkoal switches out into Stone Journer. Um, after we've already clicked Helping Hand. So Helping Hand still works because that's how the move works. The Pokemon does not need to still be on the field when you attack to get the Helping Hand boost. Which I feel like would make more sense, but that's 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 a topic for another time. Um, so yeah, Chiyu, Torkoal. Chiyu terrestrializes, clicks Heat Wave. Torkoal clicks Helping Hand. Torkoal gets hit, it switches out into Stone Journer. Stone Journer comes in, starts giving Power Spot. Heat Wave comes. Heat Wave knocks out pretty much everything. Um, there are a couple of things that will live this they are very few and far between and like I, it has to be like like terra water assault vest backscalibur with a ton of special defense investment or like i don't know we're even doing chunks to to like ting lu it's really silly how many modifiers we've put on this one attack um if heat wave is not viable like, you know we always have the option to click like snarl or dark pulse or overheat instead which is really nice still um Stone Journer provides amazing support with Wide Guard and um, then just like damage with Rock Slide and Heavy Slam, which is really cool. I'm just running Sash Max Attack because honestly, its special defense stat is so bad. There's no point. Um, I could run like Assault Vest Max Special Defense, but it's not worth it. I need Wide Guard. I need Protect. It's not worth it. Torkoal is mostly support, um, but it does have the option to click Terrifier Flamethrower, which is pretty neat. And I do have the option to set up Trick Room with my NDD here if I feel like that's good. Um, I don't in any of these games because it, I never needed it. But since we're not running a whole lot of speed on our Flutter Main and we're not running a whole lot of speed on our Chiyu, um, sometimes the Trick Room is just the option and you can go for it and you can do stuff. Um, next up we have Gyarados here. I figured I just wanted an Intimidator that was not weak to ground. I do have a lot of Pokemon that are weak to ground. Gyarados can come in if we needed to and just intimidate things and be immune to ground type moves. Um, I think this is a pretty standard move set. I don't know about the, the bulk. I just kind of like threw whatever in here, but it's Taunt, Waterfall, Thunder Wave, Protect. I feel like this is pretty standard for Gyarados. Um, 
And with Power Spot, you're still doing tons of damage if they're both on the field together. Next up, Fluttermane. I think I'm running enough speed on Fluttermane. Uh, I think I speed crept to outspeed base 100 Pokemon. I believe that's the number I put in there. And then we went max special attack and everything else went into bulk. We're running a lot of defense investment because Fluttermane needs it. Um, again, we don't want this Fluttermane to move first all the time. So like if there's an opposing Fluttermane or an Iron Bundle or something like that, we want them to move first and hit our Torque Hole so we can eject button out and get Power Spot plus Helping Hand. But we can do a very similar thing here as with the Chiyu. I mean, it's not going to be quite as strong because it's Life Orb and it's... I mean, it's Life Orb, Protosynthesis, um, Helping Hand. But it's not quite as strong because we don't get Beads of Ruin and it's not like Choice Specs. Um, but it, it does get pretty close, which is pretty neat. It's kind of like double Life Orb instead of being like Specs in the Sun, which is like... You know, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? You, you get what I'm saying. I'm not doing a very jo good job describing, but you understand, okay? We're just going to pretend that you do. Um, pretty, like, not, nothing too crazy on this set. Doesn't leave Moonblast, Protect Shadow Ball. Um, there is one game where I go with the Fluttermane. It does its one attack, and then it dies because my opponent's uh, super just lived. But that's okay. This was a really cool game. Or this is a really fun little experiment. I wasn't expecting it to be as successful as it was. If you want to use this team, the paste will be down in the description. If somebody makes me a rental, I will use it and share the rental and maybe, you know, even like play, play, what was it? I was gonna say play in the GC with it, but you can't use rental codes. So unfortunately it's out, but if I could, if I thought I had time to make this team, I might play it in the GC. It's so silly that it's, it's just super fun. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, we're gonna get into the rest of the video here in a second. I have a couple more battles for you guys that you can watch. They're very entertaining, lots of funny sound effects. Um, as always, everybody, if you like the video, leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment, um, let me know what you want to see in the next one. Let me know what you think about this. Is there is there a way to put more modifiers on a single attack in one turn that you can think of? Let me know. We'll try it out. And um, go ahead and subscribe if you have enjoyed what you've seen so far. Like I said, there's lots more great stuff coming. And with that, everybody, my name's Andrew. Let's get on with the rest of the video. What? Bye-bye! Frosty the snowman. Bye bye. Hooray. <laughs> Bye-bye! 
Splish! <laughs> 